Welcome back LaunchCart user. In this video, I'm going to teach you how easy it is to customize your online store using our built-in theme editor. Now to get to the screen, all you have to do is open up your LaunchCart admin panel and then go to Appearance, Themes on the bottom left hand corner. Once you do that, you'll be taken to our theme settings and our theme library page. And let me explain how this works. The top half of this page is your current and active theme. This is the one that your store is currently using right now, and it is also the theme that's live on your site for everyone else to see. With LaunchCart, you have the unique ability to customize additional themes in the background before anyone has a chance to see them, meaning your public store visitors. And you can do that by browsing these themes down here, and you can click Customize. When you click Customize on a theme, you're actually customizing that theme with your store contents. And what's really unique is you can customize these all separately, all on your own time, and unless you actually make one of these themes active, no one gets to see any of these changes except you, the store owner, or anyone else who has access to this uh, admin panel. So that means that you can have an active theme, like this one. Let me scroll back up here. We have Theme 1 Alpha. You can have this live on your site, and while you're tweaking and making changes, it's all going to be private until you do the final step of making it active on the right-hand side. So that's really cool. If you ever want to preview what a theme looks like, you just hit the preview button, and this will take you to a preview of your store using this particular theme. If you want to see what a theme actually looks like in the real world and um, you know not using your store's contents, then you can mouse over the theme thumbnail and you can press view example. So let me just be very specific. This button over here, if I click this, this will open up a real world example of a completed store using this theme. This is not your store, it's not your store's contents, but it is a demo of a real world site that is using this theme. Once again, if you want to preview what your site would look like using this theme, you would click the preview button over here. So some people get confused on that, and I just want to be really clear. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and customize your active theme, then you'd scroll to the very top, and you would look right here, your current active theme, and we're going to press customize. And actually, before you do that, let me share with you what this theme were to look like if it was completely filled out. We're going to mouse over and press the view example button. And we're taken to a store that is not ours, but it's using this theme. And so what we've done with our theme demos is, is we've built real-world working stores that are using the theme, and we've filled everything out on them just to give you the full potential of what your store could look like if you did the same thing. So as you can see, this store has a home page that's turned on. It has a custom navigation bar. It has a slider here showcasing different products. It has top categories linking the user or the store visitor to other areas of the site. We're featuring products, and then at the very bottom, we have some icons with some additional text, and we have the footer. And then you can click around. You can go into different categories. You can see what your shop page looks like. You can go into uh, demonstration products and see what the product page looks like, and you can go through the rest of the process. And what you're seeing is all these pages are using that particular theme. So if you like it, you can keep this theme and you can customize it on your own, which we will do in a minute. Or if you don't like it, you can go browse additional theme examples and find one that you really like for your particular site. Okay, so we're back here. We're back in the admin panel, and I'm going to click Customize on this Theme 1 Alpha. And when I do that, it drops us into the theme editor for this particular theme. So any changes that I make on here are going to affect my live site since this is my live theme. For example, I could upload a logo here. I could scroll down and I can customize how I want my header to look. Do I want it to, do I want it to be sticky or static? That means, do I want the header controls to follow the, the visitor as they scroll down your web page? And we made this really simple. It's just basically drag and drop, turn things on, turn things off. Really, really simple. Anyone can do this, and you can completely change the look and feel of any one of your stores. We can dis display a link to your contact page in the header. We can display your phone number in the header. Um, and I will say this, each theme is different, and each theme has different settings. So even though some of these settings might overlap, some settings might not. So you may be editing a different theme, maybe let's say theme three or theme four, and they might be missing certain features, and that's because 
themes have uh, features built into them, and they're not necessarily on every single other theme. So that's why we really uh, recommend that you look at those real-world examples to find any special things that you like that you might want to use. <coughs> I need some water. And as you see, as we scroll down, now we have the ability to customize our footer. We can change if we want a light or dark footer. We can display links. We can display our, for our store's phone number. And we can display our store's company address on the footer if we choose to. And all you do is you simply turn these things on or off. And uh, if there's any additional messaging like this one, it will tell you. Uh, but it's very, very simple to do. And then if you go down here, we have the ability for this theme to show social icons. So if you have Twitter, Facebook profiles, Instagram profiles, and you want to link those from your store, you can do that here, and you can input the URLs to your social networks here as well. So this is your general settings, and it's mostly consisted of your logo, your header, and footer, and social. Okay, and that's pretty standard across most of our themes. The next option we have is the home page. And if we click on that, there we go. If we click on this, this actually allows us to enable a home page. So every theme comes with the ability to set up a custom home page, but you don't necessarily have to use it. And what we found out is there's a lot of store owners who don't necessarily need a home page. It's optional. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, Josh, if there's no home page, then what gets shown when somebody goes and visits my store? And what happens is, is if you don't have a home page turned on, they will see your shop page. And your shop page is just a page that lists out all of your products and it shows all of your categories. So people can still browse your store. It's not going to affect any of that. It just, you just don't have a home page. And we found that a lot of users don't need a home page. So that's why we made it optional. Now, if you do want to activate it, you simply turn this on. And then all of a sudden your store will use a home page and then you can customize your home page here. So this theme has sliders. You can turn this on. And then you go here to add slider images and you follow along with all the additional information it asks. I'm not going to go through everything because I really uh, I want you to get in here and learn the system yourself. But I do want to keep this video short and give you a high level overview of how all of this works. You can show top categories. You can show featured products. You can show benefit icons. So if you remembered in that example that I showed you uh, just a few minutes ago, we saw all of these features turned on and activated. So that's what these features correspond to. If you turn on featured products, now you can search for a product, simply click on this box and you can type in the name of a product. And if it comes up, uh, it will show you and you can feature maybe a t-shirt. Or on this demo, we have a backpack. Now I can feature a backpack product. And then if I go ahead and hit save down here, you always need to press save. Then uh, our store's homepage will be updated with this information. So that's how easy it is to work. I'm not going to make any changes because I really want to run through this video pretty fast. And I feel that a lot of you can get in here and you'll learn this really, really fast once you're in here editing your own stores. The next option we have is our colors tab. And this allows us to set our primary and default colors. Every theme kind of utilizes uh, certain colors for certain things. Maybe, you know, certain buttons, maybe certain text fonts and, or, you know, certain text colors and so on. This allows you to control that. So, you want to use this to match any existing branding you have. So maybe you have a logo and it has an accent color of blue. Well, you might want to leave this as blue and that will give your website an accent color of blue. Maybe you want to change it to green, orange, red, or maybe you want to use a custom value and you can do that too. You click here, then you simply select any custom color you want. You can also input a hex code right here for any color you want. Once again, save this page. Go ahead and click on the preview theme button. This will show you a preview of your store using this customized theme with the changes you just made. And then if you want to get really nitty gritty and get to the advanced options, you can turn this on. And if we scroll down here, we'll see that we can customize individual colors for buttons, product price, product titles, and so on and so on. A lot of options here if you're a really advanced user. And then the very last option we have here is code. And this allows you to put in tracking code into um, your 
store. So maybe you have an online chat bubble that you want to add and the third party service you're using gives you some embed code. Well, you could put that here. Maybe you have a MailChimp opt-in form and you want to embed that here. Well, you can do that right here and you get to choose where you want it to be embedded on. So if you want it to be embedded on your entire store, you would use the global tab. If you wanted to embed that just on the home page, you could use this tab. If you wanted to put it on the category pages, this tab, and so on and so on. It's all very simple. You also have the addition to put in custom CSS code. Once again, for advanced marketers, if you know what you're doing, you could modify your theme even more by using CSS code. So certain options may not be available in the theme editor, but for advanced users, you can definitely get that done with CSS code. So once again, if you ever hit preview theme, this will show you what your store looks like using this particular theme. And if it happens to be your live theme, it will take you to your live site. Let's go back here to themes. And I just want to show you once again how to switch your site to a different active theme. So as you can see, your current active theme doesn't allow you to make it active because it's already active. But what you can do is once you've customized one of these different themes down here, and it's totally up to you, you can customize any one of them or all of them, but eventually you will need to make one of them active. To do that, you simply press the Make Active button, and in seconds, your site has been switched to a whole new theme, and you are good to go. Okay, I highly recommend that you customize them before, because what you don't want to do is you don't want to make a theme active that hasn't been customized. Each one of these themes is separate from each other. So that means that if you customize one theme, maybe you added a logo and you added a home page and you did a whole bunch of stuff, maybe you changed the colors. Well, that doesn't affect any other theme. With, value, or with Launch Cart, we give you the ability to customize themes individually. So maybe you're using a different logo on this one than you are with this theme, or maybe you're using different color schemes with one theme than you are with another. We give you that, uh, that you know, ability with launch cart. So we recommend that you customize them before. Other than that, that is a very quick um, how-to video of your themes and how to use the theme editor to customize things like your logo, your colors, and so on. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one.